going live on my continue my Instagram <clears throat> and my so we're all live guys happy Valentine's Day to everybody uh you know in your Valentine's so hopefully you guys have some love right today uh you know for Valentine's Day but we just want to come okay and share uh you know some things about self-love and making money from home guys so this is my channel this is my uh platform so you guys know who i am tanisha marie i've been online uh for about five or six years been working from home i absolutely love it um i've been able to create multiple six figures uh from home guys been able to do things that you know i never thought um that i would be able to do been able to connect with wonderful women like lorena and uh steph and been able to guys do what matters right in my life taking care of my children taking care of my health taking uh you know care of my finances guys and being able to think clearer <laughs> because now i'm able to control my destiny guys so we want to do this call <clears throat> about once a month right we want you guys to understand that uh you know at the end of the day we want to share uh, some great stuff with you so that you can go and take and grow in your business or grow in your relationships and your life or whatever the case is. So happy Valentine's day to everyone. I want Steph and, um, Lorena to basically just introduce, um, themselves guys. And we'll go right into what is self love and how it affects you, uh, you know, with making money and what is the, the relationship between both. Hey guys, I'm on Instagram too. <laughs> Go ahead, Lorena. Okay. Well, hey guys, what's up? My name is Lorena Noble. Um, I actually like Tanisha. I work from home. Um, you know, I'm a parent. Um, I'm actually a single lady, you know, so I know a little bit about being single, trying to work a business and, you know, have a life, take care of kids as well. So, um, guys, you know, I'm happy that you're here. I look forward of course, to connecting with you guys once a month. And I just want to say, you know, um, it nobody's claiming to, that it's easy. You know, it takes a little work. It takes, you know, connecting with powerful people and consistent people like Tanisha, you know, and Steph. So, um, guys, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. All right, Steph. All right. Well, hello, hello. So my name is Steph Perez. And um I've been in the industry since uh, August 2007. Like Tanisha, I've earned uh, multiple six figures online. I was able to replace my full-time nursing income. Geez, it's been about seven, eight years now. Um, and I, I feel like I'm one of the fortunate you know, few that have learned how to use the internet. Um, and I've never had to even entertain the idea of going back to work. So I love to share with people how they can do it as well. That's really what I spend my time doing in my business is putting out content and information to help people that want to learn how to get their start and how to do it in a way where they're building on their success. I don't believe in making a quick buck. I don't believe in gimmicks and, and trends and all that kind of stuff. I love teaching people how to build a strong foundation. Um, I'm a mom of two, been married for 23 years. So I just celebrated my 23rd anniversary on the 11th. Um, yeah. And you know what, whether you know, Lorena saying she's single, you know, whether you're married or you're single, guess what? It is tough work no matter what, because it's always a balancing act. I mean, it's a balancing act in life period. Right. Yeah. Um, but when you're doing something that you love and you're doing it for the right reason, um, I just kind of believe that balance kind of naturally happens or you just begin to fall in the flow of things. Mm -hmm. um, and I think when you have, you know, wonderful people supporting you, I know that's what I have in my case with my husband. He's probably my biggest supporter ever. You know, that definitely makes life and business a lot easier. So I love what I do. I love to inspire other people. And I look forward to sharing, you know, once a month and hopefully helping some people come on this journey with us. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, guys. So what is the relationship? right between money and love right so i have a group right and i was telling my group that you know if your health is not right you're not attracting money okay if your relationships with people co-workers your church mates your friends if they're not right guess what you can't attract money if your spirituality yes is not right guys you cannot attract the type of money that you want. So, you know, for instance, let's just say your health, right? A lot of people are on prescription drugs. 
A lot of people got this problem, that problem, this problem, that problem. And when you're congested, right? And when you're congested, money can't flow. Right. Okay. Money cannot flow to you or through you because it's too much congestion. See, money has to flow, right? Money has to be able to come and go and move, right? And if you're congested, right, money can't come to you, right? So when I tell people about getting their health intact, and this is why I love working from home because I'm able to go to the gym, right? I never was thinking about going to the gym when I had a job. It was just go to work. Okay. Now I'm able to work from home, right? And go to the gym, focus on my health so that my health can be better. Right. See, these are, these are key things. And people don't really realize that and understand guys, your health is everything. Okay. Your health is everything guys. You could probably name five people right now that are in terrible health. And I can guarantee their finances are terrible as well. So think about that, guys. Think about your health as a correlation to your money, right? And also, I don't know, guys, how many of you got this book? Steph, um, Lane, did y'all get this book? Did y'all get this book, the Black, the Black Woman Millionaire book? So this book is is very powerful. I'm on, I'm on, um, I'm on chapter number four, right? And she talks about how money. We talking about health again, right? Money is a heart condition. Okay. This is what she talks about. Money is a heart condition. How many people can now go to their bank account, look at it and feel good? Right. Not too many, right? Not too many people can go to their bank accounts guys and feel good about what they see and see that messes with your heart and that messes with your mental. So there's mental health, physical health, all kind of different health, right? So emotional health. So that messes with your emotions, right? And your heart is like, you know, your emotion, right? Because now when you look at your bank account and it's on $2, how do you feel, right? You don't feel confident. I'm telling you, people say, you know, money's not everything, but here's the thing, guys, money makes sure that you're good. You're not living. We don't live on air. Okay. We don't live on air guys. So when you check your bank account, check your heart first, make sure your heart ain't weak. Okay. Because if you check your bank account and it's nothing there, you're not going to feel too good closing that screen or closing your bank account or whatever you need to do. Right. But if you look at your bank account, you got, you know, a couple of the racks in there, you're going to feel a little better. Absolutely. Right. You're going to feel better about yourself. And remember guys, Money also comes to this feeling of happiness, right? Of abundance, right? Of prosperity, right? Some people get mad as hell when they look at their bank account. Some people yeah. get mad, right? You wake up and, and, and for me, I'm speaking for, for me when I used to have a job, right? It's, it was like direct deposit Friday morning, right? So I was hyped, like, yes, I got paid. But then it was like $2 Friday evening. Like how the fuck? This happened, right? This or you like go on the weekend business. and you spend money and then you come back on Monday and now you figure out how you're going to pay the bills. You figure out what's going right. to be paid, what's not going to be paid. <laughs> you know? Right. I know we right. used to do that all the time. We'd go out and have a good weekend and then on Monday we'd figure out what was going to be paid, what couldn't be paid, what was going to get an extension, you know? And that's stressful. You, you think yeah. that you're making it, you think it's okay, but it's stressful. And I don't think people realize how stressful it is until they're out of that situation. Until they no longer have to worry about, you know, who's going to get paid, who's not going to get paid, you right. know? So I yeah. agree with you, Denisha, like you, you, you've got to get to a point where you just decide to make the money. You got to take the feelings out of it. You, you got to go out there and make the money. Cause when you realize how good it makes you feel overall, now you can begin taking care of those other areas of your life. Right. And you can't help other people if you're not helped, you know, right. if, if you're in lack, you can't help other people. Right. Right. And that, and that goes, and that goes all your whole being, your whole spirit, everything, you know, because if you are mad, <laughs> guess what? The energy you're going to put out is negative and mad. And guess what? <laughs> guess what? Everybody else around you will feel that way too. Right? So, you know, we have to really now say on a scale of one to 10, how much do I love myself? True. And you know, on a, a scale of one to 10, how much do I love myself? Because if I love myself, when I look at my bank account, I'm happy. Okay. 
Yeah. Right? And I think when we try to do things, um, I think this is like so key with what you're saying to each as far as loving ourselves first, because, you know, when I first got started in this industry, and I think a lot of us are like this when it comes to like traditional network marketing, you know, that we're always told, what's your why? What's your why? What do we usually say as women? Oh, my kids, my kids. you know, I don't want to ever have to tell my kids no. And I want to be able to, you know, give my husband options. And those things are cute and we really mean them. Mm -hmm. But when you get down to the root of it, like you want to feel accomplished yourself. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to wake up and say, you know what? I'm doing this. I'm really, you want to feel proud of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think until you can honestly be okay with saying, you know what? I'm doing this because it's an accomplishment for me then you begin to do better for those other areas as well. But it can't always be about everybody else first. It's kind of like that lie we tell ourselves because it sounds good. But at the end of the day, these professional women, professional men that are achieving things in their professional life, they're doing it because it makes them feel good. It makes them feel accomplished. And because they're doing well, guess what? Their kids or spouses or loved ones get to, get to benefit from it. Right. You know? So yeah, I agree with you for sure. That, 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 you know, it makes, it makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah. Because also too, when you love yourself, you're not tolerating bullshit from a boss, number one, okay? For a, a supervisor, okay? From your kids, from your spouse Preach. or anybody in that matter, okay? Yeah. You're not going to let people run over you when you love who you are, right? See, we got to get to a point, especially women. We got to get to the point and not look at social media, Instagram, and see all the Coke bottle bodies, right? And thinking that we got to be like that. True. Right? Very we got to get happy. When we look in the mirror, we got to say, oh, I look good. Oh, look at my fat ass. Look at me. You know what I'm saying? Look how I look. You know what I'm saying? Look at my butt. Look at, you know what I'm saying? You look at my lips. Not look at a girl on Instagram and say, oh, I wish I had that fat butt. Oh, I wish I had those big breasts. How do you feel about you? True. Right. Even in that book, Tanisha, um, <clears throat> you know, the black woman millionaire that you put me uh -huh. on. With me. Thank you, by the way. I got to say You're thank you again because I'm going to the seminar this weekend. Awesome. Awesome. Let me know how it is. Oh, I will. I will. But she talks about like our relationships with money and, mm -hmm. you know, the slavery mentality mm -hmm. that had, you know, and when you start realizing the things that you've been brought up in and taught and it's just inbred in you subliminally, mm -hmm. then you realize why you're not making the money you, right. you deserve to make. Why, you know, you're settling for the type of relationships and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it's funny that it's Valentine's Day and I know <clears throat> people just associate Valentine's Day with having a man. And yes, I'm single and you're yeah. right to need to, like you said on Facebook, I do need a man and deserve one, you know, yes. but I'm not settling for just anything, any man, you know, anything. Right. And so when we talk about Valentine's day and yeah, it's about, you know, they say relationships, love, and you think uh, a sexual type of love with your man and so forth, but you know, it does begin with self love. You know, when mm -hmm. you love yourself first, the mm -hmm. rest of your relationships, can prosper and you also realize which relationships need to go right whether that's in business friendship right. a loved one things like that so i want to um share a resource too you might even have this do you have this one tanisha principles right now? Right now. i know you didn't you tell me to get that you told me yeah. to get that right girl let me uh, tell you anybody in business who's truly building a business for real deserve to have this book Seriously, because sometimes, you know, I even, at, you know, in business, I've shed it relationships, you know, sometimes because of things that just didn't make sense. You know what I mean? And I realized and they were relationships that I held on to for mm -hmm. a while, for whatever reason. But the more I started realizing, like she said, you know, I didn't get in this for, like Steph was talking about, you know, we say the cute thing and, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm doing this for me. Right. You know what I mean? Right. For me. Right. And when things don't line up, I got to be strong enough to love me first. Right. Okay. To right. make certain decisions. So I, man, this is, this is a powerful talk, man. Cause there's so many angles with this. So many. Right. 
right? Yeah. And and also too, like you were saying, you don't just want to settle, right? For anybody, you know. But at the same time, there's 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 levels. Yes. Right to everything. Right. There's yeah. levels. And that's why I said once you love yourself, you're not settling for Joe Schmo who's going to come right off the street mm -hmm. and, you know, give you a kiss. And now, you know, you turned into this princess. No, you have to have, you know, some standards. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and as women, it's like sometimes we totally forget about all that shit. Mm -hmm. It's like, what is my self-worth? How am I loving myself? And who do I need to attract in my life, right? A lot of women, they don't attract the man that they want. They just say, niggas ain't shit. Right. But that's not the truth, right? right. The yeah. truth of the matter is you have to look in the mirror. That's why I said yeah. social media is a curse and a blessing at the same time. Okay. It's a curse and a blessing because People literally get depressed watching other people's lives. That's all social media is. You're watching what someone else is doing, right? So now you get depressed. Now you think you're less of. So now you're not thinking about loving yourself. And soon as, you know, the first guy come, you jumping on a bandwagon, right? And, and relationships, just like, you know, Lorena was talking about, relationships with your spouse, your boyfriend, your kids, your coworkers, everything correlates to this. OK, everything correlates to how you will attract money, because how you treat others. OK, is how you will treat money, too. Right. Think about this. If you nasty, if you, you ever met a nasty person. Right. And it was just nasty. Their energy was just nasty. Like I don't want to have nothing to do with you. See, those type of people, that energy, you cannot be around. But then you have positive people that you also want to be around. And this is why for me, right? I said 2018, I only want to hear positivity, right? Even friends that I have that's negative, we text now. Fuck all that talking, right? Because I could be positive, right? And you come with some negative crap. And then now I'm feeling depressed all day. Like, why am I feeling depressed? Right? Because now I got your energy, right? And now I have your energy, even though, yeah, you may be my close friend. Now I have your energy. Now I'm thinking about your problems all doggone day, right? Yes. All day. So now mm -hmm. my energy is low. So I can't attract the money or whatever I want because now my energy is to the ground. Absolutely. You know right? what? I've, I've experienced that. You know, right. we as women, as a right. whole, you know, we, we're more emotional creatures. Mm -hmm. So of when course. it happened, you know, we talking to our girlfriend, we mm -hmm. telling them this, or somebody mm -hmm. be like five, and, and sometimes, you know, and I had to check myself. This is something, and sometimes I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. Some people like you either like me or you don't. Like I could come right. across as a bitch, you know. Right. What I mean? And it's not that I'm being a bitch. It's that mm -hmm. I love me enough not to absorb your shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I love mm -hmm. you enough not to absorb your shit. And because, mm -hmm. just like you said, mm -hmm. they dump that emotional baggage on you. Now you carrying it around and you thinking about they stuff on top of right. we all got our own stuff, <laughs> you know? Right. And right. it makes it really difficult. So sometimes when, I, you know, you decide, I love me enough that I know this is going to fuck up my day. Let me right. stop you where you at. I don't feel like hearing this. They think right. you're an asshole. You know, right. So, it's, it's true. And I said, right. So it's, it's sad. It's sad too, though. But this is why you got to love you. Right. Exactly. Right. I mean, you got to love who you are first, because anybody will just come into your life. So you got to also have standards for friends, not just your man relationship. You also yes. got to have standards for your job. If you just go into any job just because it's a job, you don't love yourself. Believe me. Okay. Well, that's the same thing with business. You know, I've uh, listened to some very, very, you know, people like Fred Kearns, people that are like very, very, very successful. Right. And they all say the same thing, you know, that they've had businesses at some point where they pretty much were just attracting anybody, anyone right. who would pay for their services. They would, you know, they would bring them on, but they realized they didn't have businesses that were very enjoyable because they weren't dealing with people they wanted to deal with. Like you said, they right. were draining them. Right. And right. they started just shifting the way they did business, started attracting people. They wanted more in their business and their business became enjoyable. Right. You know, and again, it's about it's about, like you said, the value valuing yourself. 
Because when you don't really value yourself and it's all about money, you'll allow anyone to come into your business. You'll allow anyone to drop a dollar or you know a couple of bucks for your services, for your time. And you look up and you hate what it is that you're doing because you're working with people that aren't worthy of your time. Like Marina said, they're not worthy of your time. Right. Right. So, I mean, again, you have to get to a place first where you value the worth that you bring to the marketplace, your relationships, to everything. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you want to be able to attract that. Yeah. So, Absolutely. so, and it's so difficult. I'm not just saying women. It's also difficult for men too, because there's a lot of men that suffer from self-esteem issues. And I really didn't think about men too much because I'm like, all right, men, they got it. You know, they macho, whatever. But as I became right or grew in this industry, I realized men suffer also from self-esteem issues. Right. And truth be told, they suffer even worse because men, especially black men in America already have it hard. Right. They scared of this. They scared of that. They don't know what is going to happen. They don't know what they're going, what's going to happen at their job. So it's all these thoughts going in their head. And guess what? They also can't attract the right woman. Right. They can't attract that same woman because up here is nothing but insanity. Right. It's too much insanity going on in their mind. And it's like, damn, how do I get my mind focused? How do I get my brain focused? Right. Your health got to be on point. Your relationships, your spirituality. Right. I'm not saying believe in God. I'm not saying you got to, you know, be this holy Christian and all that. But guess what, guys? You got to be in tune with a higher power. OK, at some point, you have to be in tune with some type of higher power so that you can love yourself. Right. Because you don't just wake up and say, oh, I love myself. What do you truly love about yourself? And then who's holding you accountable? Right. It has to be a higher power, guys. Right. It's not just we're living on this earth by ourselves. We're living on a planet with eight billion other people. Absolutely. Okay? And everything that we do, we all affect each other. Right. So who's the higher power that you're answering to? Right. Why is so many things happening? See, no, nobody thinks this either. No one says, well, why am I broke? Why I can't get this? Why I can't get that? Nobody does this thing called self-evaluation. I'm in my mentor. She sat me down. She said, dude, let's do a self-evaluation. Took me five hours to do it. What the fuck, Tanisha? What do you want? It's right. painful. Self-evaluation right. is painful. Yes, it, is. <laughs> it is, right? It's it so is. Painful. Right. It is. It is painful. But at the end of the day, too, Steph, you got to do this. Oh, no, for sure. You, you're, you're a better person yeah. once you do it, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Right. Yep. Right. So, but once you do it, now you're more clear. Yep. But a lot of people don't want to come up with their bullshit, though. They don't no, want to blame other people. Their bullshit. You know, right. Rather, you like know, you remember back in the day, I mean, we probably still all hear that a marriage or a relationship is 50-50. Is and I remember one time someone said, no, it's not 50-50. It's 100%, 100%. Each right. person has to give 100%. Right. You know, yeah, I mean, I know what they mean, 50-50, you have a whole. But no, if you're only giving 50%, you know, what's happening with that other 50? It's 100% responsibility. Right. You know? Right. Well, that's, you know, that's what it boils down to. And then of course, now in, you know, your relationships and your health and your spirituality too, the, all these things correlate. Right. And I was talking to my group and I was saying, what resources, right. Can people be able to tap into, right. A lot of people don't even have resources. Right. And I'm talking about good family, good yeah. friends, right? Good coworkers, right? That can actually help and elevate you, right? One of my mentors was saying, he was saying that most people, they spend 15 to 20 years on their jobs and at their jobs is nothing but negative people, nothing but negative energy, people that are broke, destitute, depressed, stressed out. So if you're around that energy for 20 years, now, when you meet someone like me or Steph or Lorena, and we're like, oh, we work from home full time. And that starts, you start to think like, well, how the fuck is that possible? Like these women may make money. They make 10, 20 grand a month from home, right? How do, how do they do this kind of thing? You start to not believe that shit anymore. You don't believe that because you, you so used to being around the dirt, 
<laughs> it's like, how can this really be possible, guys? And this is why I decided, right, that I'm going to connect and be around people that's only going to uplift me. I'm not interested in no negativity, okay, at all. And when you make this decision, right, that you don't want nothing less, okay, then that, guess what? Then doors start opening up. Right. And then you start to elevate your bank account, start looking different. You start feeling different about yourself. You start attracting these different type of men that you actually want. Yeah. Right now into your life because you elevated here first. Right. We can't elevate in our bank accounts. We can't elevate in our in our health. We can't elevate in our spirituality if we don't elevate here first. Or if you do elevate, like those who win the lottery, they, they lose it quickly again because, like you said, up here is not right. They're not equipped to handle it. Right. So they got five million, but they used to thirty grand. Exactly. So as soon as, as soon as they spend all of the money, this is what I'm saying to my group. As soon as they spend all the money, they fine now. How the fuck did you blow through five million in one year? Exactly. How did you blow through five million dollars in one year and you're comfortable with that? Yeah. <laughs> right. You're right. You're right. Right. So so your mind, if your mind never goes nowhere, if this is your mind, right? And all you see is your hand and your bills, guys. How do you elevate? Yeah. Right? How do you elevate, guys? You can't. Right. You can not, guys. So I'm gonna read this script, right? From the book. So if you guys don't have this book. I think this is a awesome book. Um, you know, she don't just talk about, uh, you know, money guys. She talks about the inner peace. Okay. The inner person, uh, you know, of us guys, I'm telling you, let me see if Nikisha, she wants to come on. Let me see go live with Nikisha. Nikisha can come on. All right. So I'm going to read this guys. It talks about self-esteem money versus, versus self-worth money. Okay. Self-esteem money versus self-worth money. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read self-esteem money. Is, that, is what you would pay based on how you feel about yourself, right? You're rooted in your past experiences. Then it says your self-worth money, what others will pay or gladly pay you, right? Your inherited value and your intrinsic worth you naturally bring, right? So I told my group right the other day, and I said. You have to see value, right, in yourself first, right, in order to now add value to yourself second, to now add value to the world marketplace third, right? People kill me. They come online. They want to make money, but they never want to invest or put value into them first. They want to get right to the money. They want to get right to the five grand a month. They want to get right to the 10 grand a month. They want to get right to the 20 grand a month. But they never say, okay, what is my self worth? Right? Yeah. Because you're only going to attract more of what you are. Think about this, guys. You only will attract more of what you are. Guess what? So if you're broke, right? <laughs> Think about this, right? Because people say, oh, you know, I'm attracting broke people. Oh, I'm tired of being around broke people. Well, like we said, check your bank account. Let's see how your bank account make you feel first, right? And then now you can determine all these people that's around you, all right? What is it? If you get around five broke people, you number six, right? That's how it works. If you're around five broke people, you're number six, right? So this is why loving who you are, right? As a person first, right? Because now you will attract other people that will love themselves as well. Absolutely. Right. right. So Nikisha's on um, Instagram over here. So Nikisha can, uh, you know, say, hey, uh, you know, to us uh, over here, guys. Of course, Steph, y'all can't see her, but hopefully y'all can hear her. <laughs> Day, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, one thing I wanted to say, I don't know what you guys covered so far. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what you guys covered so far, but I was just having a conversation with somebody, and another important part about self-love is self-care. 
Mm-hmm. Because a lot of times women wait till they're in a relationship or with somebody to actually go above and beyond. And sometimes we have to take some time to love ourselves. Talking to my girlfriend earlier and she's like, oh God, I got to shave. I'm going out with Bay later. Why do you have to shave only when you're going out with him? Right. Why do, why, right. why do we just get... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 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 That's some good stuff. <laughs> right. Right. We expect them to do it for us. Right. We're not even doing it for us. So self care is very important right. when it comes to self love. A lot of times people they're like, "What self love? Like, is it looking in the mirror every day and saying I love myself? Is it T bars? Mm-hmm. I ain't afraid to touch myself. I mean, that's self love too. Yeah. Don't get it. Too yeah. Bad. But at the same time, <laughs> mm-hmm. self love. Only loving ourselves mm-hmm. is appreciating ourselves. Right, right. On a daily basis, speaking of love into our life right. every single day. It right. is waking up in the morning looking at yourself. You got to be conceited sometimes. Right, right. You got to have to see the moment and say, you know what? I love you. Mm-hmm. You're beautiful. And we just have to compliment ourselves because mm-hmm. so many times women look at the insecurities mm-hmm. like, oh my God, I'm too big. I got roles. I got this. I got. Love your roles, girl. Right. Love it too. Love your roles. Lakeisha said, love your roles. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Love yourself, but, you know, also, you know, don't be afraid to do something about it, for sure. Girl, you took the words out of my mouth. I was just about to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's the key. Right. You got to wait till next Valentine's Day. Well, she, she, she's right. So, Nikisha, if you guys couldn't hear her, she said that self-love starts with self-care. If you don't care, right, about how you smell, if you don't care how you look, how in the world can you love yourself? How can you love yourself, right? Like she was saying, I'm only going to shave when me and my boo going out. Well, why not shave for you? Right. Why not shave to make you feel good? Right. Why not go get your new lace front for you? Right. Why not go get your nails done for you? Right. The same thing for men. Why not go get a nice haircut for you? Not when you just going out with a new girl. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so it all ties in guys. And that, and that, and I like that Nikisha said that, uh, you know, about caring, you know, for yourself, because now you're not going to go outside looking like, you know, anybody, Harry Potter. Okay? <laughs> not Harry Potter. <laughs> you're not going to go outside looking like that. Okay. You will put some standards on yourself. And that also goes with attracting those right type of people too. You looking like a bum. What do you expect to attract? And not only that, too, um, on the financial level, a lot of women say they want a man that got money. They want this. They want that. But then they're not working on getting it for themselves. And, you know, it's 2018. You know, yeah, you may want a fella with some money, but hell, a fella want a woman with some money and know how to keep it and grow it and help him, too. You know, and like Steph was just saying. You know, yeah, we, you got to love yourself, but I'm going to tell you, she hit it because it was running in my head. Like, you got to love yourself enough to do something about it. And like, for myself, I'm from North Carolina, but I'm from like the country, you know, Mm -hmm. a small town where everybody works at either a plant or Walmart, you know. It's certain jobs that that's the job to have. And people retire there. They're not going nowhere unless they die. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that with that, it comes a certain type of mentality, a certain, not talking bad about where I'm from. It's just, mm-hmm. that's what they're used to. That's all that they see. That's all that they have access to. And right. for some reason, I always felt like I was destined for more. I wanted more. And I've, you know, I've always been pretty competitive. You know, I played sports in school. I was starting lineup even when I went to corporate of corporate America. You know, I was one of the top producers in the office. But at the end of the day, it only provided so much. And I worked my ass off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it came a point to where I had to decide I had to do something different, you know. And it started, I'm going to tell you where it began. 
a friend matter of fact this guy gave me a book right and um that book sat on my shelf literally probably somewhere between eight to ten years or so seriously wow. just sat on my mm. bookshelf and mm. to this day i can't even remember what actually prompted me to pick it up mm. but the day i picked that book up i got stuck in that book and i could not put it down and when I finished reading that book, all the way through the book, all I could think was, no wonder, no wonder, no wonder rich people, wealthy people get wealthy and live this life and poor people stay poor and broke. And it was just no wonder. That's all I could think. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm no reader, okay? But I read a lot of books. And when I say I'm no reader, that means I'm not that person. Like I got like one of my homegirls, even when we were younger, you know, when she bored, she want to pick up a good book to read. That's never been my thing. Don't <laughs> expect me to be bored and want to pick up a good book. You know what I'm saying? But when I read that book, it fed the hunger in me to where, damn, no wonder. And then I'm sitting here like, why didn't I know this? But the reason I didn't know it, because it was in books, big, thick ass books that I never wanted to read. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and for real, no. and the name of the book that I'm talking about, and I'm sure everybody's probably familiar with it, mm -hmm. but it was The Cash Flow Quadrant by yeah. Robert Kiyosaki. And see, I read that one first. That was a book the guy gave me, but that wasn't even Robert Kiyosaki's first book. It was like Rich Dad, Poor Dad was the foundation. Mm -hmm. Then it was Cash Flow Quadrant. But this guy gave me Cash Flow Quadrant. Mm -hmm. And all I could think of was no wonder. And it just basically helped me to understand that it was the way people think. Because mm -hmm. you think this way, you're going to put your money, your energy, and everything in this type of stuff. Because mm -hmm. you think this way, you know, and mm -hmm. when it started separating the people into the four quadrants, the employee, self-employed, business owner and investor, mm -hmm. all I could think was no wonder mm -hmm. I got to get out of this E quadrant over here. I got to think different and mm -hmm. it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. I got to start buying some books. I need to learn some more. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then it led me into business when my own, you know, tired of working for corporate and not spending time with my daughter, you know, to then failing miserably in business and realizing, like you said it earlier, Tanisha, about, you know, how many people in the world? Well, business moves through people, mm -hmm. you know, and people have different personalities and whys and, and so forth. Then I realized I got to understand how to influence people, how to move people. And I started studying psychology of sales and all of that. Mm -hmm. Books. Yeah. Books. So you got to nice. love yourself enough to do what you do don't want to do ladies mm -hmm. <laughs> for real <laughs> that's true because i never you know i'm saying i was never into let me read a book i mean we, no no <laughs> i hated it right and, and the reason i hated reading books because i went to college and we had these big ass overwhelming books to read chemistry books and math books and shit L listen none of them was even interesting so I said, you know what? Fuck a book. I'm not interested in reading no books. It wasn't until I got into my first network marketing. There you okay? go. Okay. My first network marketing, 2011, when um, one of the one of the leaders, she said, well, in order for you to grow, right, or if you want to really know how to make money and you really want to know how to get yourself to the next level, is hidden in the books. And I said it's hidden. Why is it hidden in the books? Why the fuck nobody knows this type of stuff, right? So she said, exactly. She said, wealthy and rich people read books continuously. Yes. Broke people reads zero. Yep. Books. I love the fact that you said hidden because that's the truth. It is. You know, <laughs> like is. Marina said, no wonder. Right. <laughs> it was really big thing. 
fly. It's hidden. Like, right. it's, like it's just hidden, you know? Right. I love it. It's hidden in it's hidden in in the books. And now I have a bookshelf, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm able to tap into it. And then guess what? Now I'm teaching my girls that mm -hmm. the information that's going to elevate you is in these self-help books, not the books at school. Right. Because those books are very intimidating. Those big ass psychology books I had to carry around and shit. Those are very intimidating. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is also why people can't even get ahead either. You know what I'm saying? Because people buy these 300 pound, these 300 dollar books, and then mm -hmm. guess what? Never read them. Mm -hmm. And you in college, and you spending 50 grand to mm -hmm. learn absolutely zero. Right. 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 So this is this is why you know with, with, when Nikisha was saying, uh, you know, self care. You if you give a damn about yourself, you gonna know that all the information that you need is not at school. Okay, all the information that you think you're gonna get is not coming from the school. Okay, you gotta say, damn, how are these people getting rich? How are these people making 10, 20 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand a month from home? How, right? How, like Lorena said, no wonder huh? rich people making this type of money, living this type of lifestyle, and broke people, they just hoping and they praying, yep. and all they doing is wishing. Yep. Okay, they so, so I'm different. Glad. everything's different. Right. I'm glad that I'm connected to Nikisha, Lorena, right? And everybody else that's in the group, Steph, in the group, because guess what? We all interested in elevation. That's right. Right. Yeah. That's all we're interested in, right? No one's interested in, oh, I'm broke today. No, boo. Uh-uh. No, those, that shit don't even come out no, of my mouth. Exactly. I can see a whole 360 transformation, exactly. even in myself, from when I had a job to now where I'm at now. Even in my spouse, my husband used to say, oh, this internet shit ain't working. Go get a job. This is bullshit. This is how my husband used to talk to me. All right, this is bullshit. You on that, huh? I said, you gotta wait two weeks to get money when you can work from home and make money Right, exactly. You know, so, so he used to say these things to me and of course that fucked with my self-esteem, right? And I'm like, well, right. damn, if my husband can't support me, Right now, as women, right, that, that's a big thing. Your husband, your spouse supporting you, that's a huge thing. My husband did not support me in this business in the beginning for the first three years. Okay. The first three years, he was like, get a fucking job. This is bullshit. We used to be arguing. Right. But guess what, ladies? Guess what? Two months ago, guess what my husband did? <laughs> what did he do, girl? He came to me and said, babe, I need two grand to borrow. Wait, huh? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> you need two grand? <laughs> How you think you got two grand, brother? <laughs> you need two grand for what? Wait, hold on. Hold up, bro. Hold up. Okay? The fuck you need two grand for? Right? But guess what? My husband seen me make this thing work. Okay, yeah. my husband seen me get checks on stage. He seen me talking in front of people. He seen checks. He still see checks come to the house. Okay, so now my husband is my biggest fan. Okay, he loves me. I love him. Right? Absolutely. What you said, Nikisha? I said, yeah, he want that too great. <laughs> That's why she has them. That's why she has those balloons behind her right now. Y'all know, right? She's not telling the whole story. Right? The damn balloons are behind her. <laughs> <laughs> now, but I'm just saying, right? I was literally right. My whole position was I need to really understand how I need to elevate. And once I did, this is why I can't go back to a job because I understood my self worth. Right. I understood that I love me enough to work my ass off for me Absolutely. and my family. Right. This is why when I tell people don't get another job. Right. Don't get another job. St have your one job and then start you a business part time. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't buy into no, all the get no rich job. quick stuff. Start it. Learn how to grow it. Build the foundation. Take your time. And do right. it right. Yeah, for right. sure. Like Grant Cardone talks about. He yep. said, let's not get rich quick. Let's get rich for sure.
for sure. Yeah, there you go. Yes. I like that one. Let's get rich for sure. Let's have yeah. a consistent flow of income yes. coming into your household. Yes. Right? Where well, you're not hustling and bustling because the reality of it is, ladies, there's some people that really love themselves, but because of what they're doing at their job, they end up hating themselves. I know a lot yeah. of nurses, right? They they love themselves, but as time went on being this nurse, wiping people's asses, drawing blood and all that stuff. Be unappreciated. Yeah, be unappreciated. Yeah, that's right. where Because you're not going. appreciated. Now you're like, well, what the fuck? What am I living for? Yeah. What is the purpose? And then guess what? Remember, <laughs> money can't flow to someone who's congested. Money cannot flow to someone who's negative. Money cannot flow to people whose thoughts are not right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is all ties in, guys. Your health, your spirituality, your resources. Okay, all this stuff ties in to the type of money, right? That you want to attract in your life. Okay, loving who you are, guys, makes the difference whether you're gonna make two dollars or a hundred thousand. Okay, whether you're gonna stay at that dead end job or start to work. For yourself. Do you know our ancestors used to be entrepreneurs? Yes. Right. Our yes. ancestors used yes. to be entrepreneurs. They didn't work for no one. <clears throat> they worked for themselves. See, we got to go back there, right? So if you have a job, guys, I do encourage you to start a business part-time, okay? Because it will be the best thing that you have ever did, okay? Because now you have something that you can build for your last name. OK, not building your boss's right business, not doing something for your boss, for them to go on the beach. What about you going on the beach? See, this is go again with self loving yourself. How many vacations are you booking for the year? Right. Me and my kids, we sitting around in Thanksgiving. Talk about for the next year. How many trips we trying to go on? Right. So so think about this, guys, moving forward in life. Right. You have to love yourself to attract that right spouse, to attract that right money, and to also ultimately, right, have those right thoughts, right? Life ain't easy. Ain't none of this shit easy. Working from home ain't easy, right? It's not, right? But once you start picking up books, those big ass books, like Lorena said, start picking up those books, guys, and start really understanding, Okay, understanding, right? Wow. That if you want to grow, it's in the book. It it's is. not at the top. Absolutely. Okay? There's always a reason for why you're where you are. There's always a reason. And like you said, when you read those books, you're like, okay, I, I know why I'm stuck now. Absolutely. You know, I've been telling myself I'm not worth anything all these years, or I've been surrounding myself with broke people or whatever. It, it's right. right there. And you realize these wealthy people, you know, they're not doing these things. They're not having these, you know, bad talks with themselves they're not surrounding themselves with people that are dragging them down right, you know? right. so so daily affirmations vision yeah. boards you know being around people that are going to lift you up guys helps you start also to loving on you yep right loving yeah. on who you are yeah it's valentine's day right it was a lot of people who are miserable and single as a doorknob Right, you could be single and happy, but there's a lot of people who are single and miserable. Okay, you can be single, right? But it's a lot of people that are miserable, they won't go buy themselves some balloons, they won't go buy themselves some cake, they won't go take them, you know, selves out because they're miserable, guys. Mm -hmm. And this all ties in. If you love yourself, you'll go buy yourself some balloons, right? You'll go buy yourself a nice, cute outfit, right? Make yourself some dinner, you and your kids. <laughs> Okay, and when you love yourself, guys, you don't take no bullshit from nobody. Okay, nobody, guys. So you know, definitely, guys. Like I said, I want to do this monthly. I thank Lorena uh, and Steph and Nikisha, uh, you know, for sharing uh, your insight, guys, on uh, you know self love because this is critical stuff. Yeah, okay, if more people love themselves. Guess what? More people would have more money. 
Yeah. There'd be less hating. And that's, that's the thing about loving, you know, especially we talk about just women, period. I'm not even going to say black women, women, period, is when you love yourself, guess what? Now I'm not hating on Tanisha because she's successful, because she's right. done something maybe I haven't done, or Lorena, because now she reached this level in her business that I haven't reached yet. Because I love myself, I realize, well, let me go pick her brain. Let me go figure out what she's doing that I'm not doing. Because mm -hmm. you love yourself, you know it's not about competition. Exactly. You know, and that's where so many of us are. We hate ourselves, so it's easy now to hate Lorena because she's successful and I'm not. It's her fault. She's taking all the clients. That is key. She's, you know. Mm, that that's key. What you said, Steph. When you hate yourself, you hate in others. Yeah. People yeah. don't realize that jealousy yes. is a motherfucker. Okay. When you hate you, it's easy to hate somebody else. Yep. Okay. You is yep. easy. Guess what? Today, being that it's Valentine's Day, how many women and men hate themselves for not having the Valentine? And when they see everybody posting with they boo, they gonna be feeling salty. Yep. Or, okay. or those that's putting up with some mess just because they don't love themselves enough to be alone. Right. You no, know, you got right. for somebody else to love you. You got to be okay with spending time with you. You know what right. I'm saying? And spend right. time with you getting you right. Spend time with you doing the work. Love you enough to do the work on you right. so that that right. king can come and you'll be able to recognize right. him. You ain't accepting all that junk you keep accepting. Because a lot right. of us keep entertaining right. junk and we know it's junk. Right. We don't need nobody to tell us it's junk. We right. know it's junk. <laughs> we know. <laughs> You know, <laughs> stop it, ladies! Like straight up, stop it. You ain't gotta like me, but just love you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know, love yourself. All I want to end my piece with is love mm -hmm. yourself to mm -hmm. do the work for you. That's right. it. That ends it right there. Like that's key. Seriously, <laughs> right. to do the work. That's it. That's it. Well, well, guys, I thank you for coming out and everyone on Instagram, social media, and all of this. Make sure, guys, you share this, um, you know, with some women and men who's kind of struggling. You know, I mean, you know, no one's perfect. Uh, you know, we all, you know, no one, you know, is is judging anyone. Um, you know, but at the same time, too, guys, start loving you, right? Start mm -hmm. loving, uh, you know, who you are, guys. So you. You can attract the right things in your life, guys. You can have the right health. You can have a better health. You can have a better, uh, you know, mindset. You can, guys, right? Never think that you can't. You can do these things, guys, but you got to do it in a certain way, right? The Science of Getting Rich, that's a book that talks about doing things in a certain way to get those results, Okay. Absolutely. Doing things in a certain way to get those results, my friend. And once you do, I'm telling you, you're not going to be interested in working for somebody else. I'm being honest. You're not going to be interested in listening to no boss. Believe me, you're going to say, I'm the fucking boss, baby. I'm bossing up. Yeah. Okay. And then this, then you give off this great energy when people see you like you're bold right? You're, you're bold. You're confident, right? Some people may mistake the, the, the confidence for cockiness, but guess what guys, when you confident mm -hmm. and loving you and yourself, guess what? Can't nobody tell you a motherfucking thing. That's true. Okay. Nobody guys. So guys, remember to tell everybody where to find you at on oh, social media. You can find me. Um, you can check me out. Like you can go to my blog. I, I'll be updating my blog. Um, more regularly, it's MissLoloNo.com, M-I-S-S-L-O-L-O-N-O.com. Okay, great, great, great. Steph? Yeah, for me, YouTube, you. YouTube's a biggie for me, so just look up Steph Perez and you'll see me there, or uh, Steph Perez on Facebook, same thing. Okay, Nikisha? Um, Nikisha's Network, that's my main IG, or you can just look up both visionaries on Facebook or IG. Okay. Okay. So, so guys next, you know, next month, I don't know what we're going to be talking about, but next month we're going to come, uh, you know, again, talk, uh, you know, just enlighten, you know, you guys on, you know, what you need to do or to help you move forward in your life guys, so that you can have a better 2018, uh, you know, from now on until, you know, the rest of your life guys. So hopefully you got some value, you know, out of this. And if you did make sure you share this with your friend text, you know, 10 of your friends, uh, you know, this information, 
um, you know, guys, definitely uh, you will be helpful and it will be helpful to you for sharing information that is valuable. Mm -hmm. All right. To others, guys. So happy Valentine's Day, guys. So so for all the single women, for all the single women, you know, be great. Right. Today. Be great. Right. Don't I hope. I know Lorraine and Nikisha, y'all not salty, but they're salty single women, right? <laughs> Take that salt out your heart, right? So you can now, next year, you attract that right man. So now you can be okay. saying you have a Valentine. Me and Steph married, we embedded in our relationship. So it's like we got an automatic uh, Valentine's, uh, you know, anyway, guys. But happy Valentine's Day to everyone, guys. Remember, love you first, guys, yes. and everything else will fall Bye. into place, guys. So see you soon, guys. Thanks for coming on, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm ending this. Yeah. Cool beans. I'm in. Yeah, Thanks I'm for inviting.